what's going on youtube it's your boy suli here and today we're gonna be discussing a lot of news that you may want to know or may need to know before 2k21 drops first and foremost turning the shot meter off will give you once again a boost on 2k21 although mike wang said pro stick shooting will give you a bigger boost than shooting with the meter off take that in mind he also says you can still use the button and be very successful the pro stick just has a wider skill gap some will do better with it in comparison and some will shoot a ton of airball his advice is to try both and see what fits you better. According to Mike Wang, aka Beluba, you don't get penalized for very late timing with the pro stick. You only get a boost if you get your timing right. I'm gonna repeat that again. You only get a boost if you get your timing right. Aiming is the primary thing to worry about when you are shooting with the pro stick. I'm very curious to know your guys thought on this please drop the comment below telling me what you think about this on the other hand non shooting builds who don't upgrade shooting attributes will actually struggle to shoot this year unlike we saw at the very end of 2k20 where people with a 51 three-pointer were greening consistently Mike Wang's goal is for you to have to be at least in the mid to high 70s to be a decent threat at shooting if people are consistently hitting as a 51 he'll make a hot fix he also stated there is a pretty significant difference having a 70 versus a 99 shooting attribute take your average three point field goal percentage as a 70 and add about 20 percent to that the shot meter will be bigger in the final game than it is in the demo. Thank God because it's pretty hard to aim with the pro stick with that tiny tiny shot meter. Mike Wang states, easy full core makes with the pro stick will be fixed. Patch didn't make it into the demo. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, it's about this. Something that a lot of the 2K community is experiencing is when you try to make a oversized guard and you use the blue and green pie chart or the yellow green pie chart, it comes out as a pure slasher. Maybe they have to address it before the game releases, but that's only two days away. Mike Wang says he wanted to create a skill gap for slashers this year. If you can master pro stick layups, you have a much better chance finishing at the rim contested and through contact. At the same time stating, for wide open layups, you can basically ignore timing and aiming and still make it. Mr. Beluva tells us, dribbling on current gen and next gen will be mostly the same. The word that worries me a little bit there is mostly. What do you guys think about that? Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. The most used badge on 2K20, the Intimidator badge, has been nerfed for NBA 2K21. A 2K producer says, quote, my career is a bit of a different beast in next gen. Obviously, we are not going to have the beach in next gen. We've got something brand new, which is completely crazy. It doesn't make sense to have that progress carry on over, end quote. According to a Reddit user that goes by the name of YYY2K, states that it looks like Xbox One pre-download is up. It's a total of 74 gigs, not including any day one patches. On Steam, NBA 2K21 is labeled as a gambling game, while still being rated E for everyone. The ESRB has responded to several emails from gamers asking how NBA 2K is rated E for everyone when it features quote unquote gambling. This has prompted accusations that the ESRB is quote shameless and corrupt and that age classifications have 
failed the gaming industry by allowing children to play titles with gambling in them. On another note, we have two new classic teams coming to 2K21, the 2016 and 2017 Warriors, and then the 2018-2019 Raptors. Congratulations to Bronny James on joining FaZe Clan. I believe he's the first 2K player to join FaZe Clan. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. If you haven't pre-ordered 2K21, here there's a chart explaining very detailed what you get depending on which one you pre-order, whether it's the Mamba Forever Edition for PS5 or Mamba Forever Edition for current gen. I will be putting the links in the description for you to download it and check it out. Alright, we reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it helps a lot once again much love from your boy suli i'm out